Welcome to the Forum of Peace, Love, and Human Rights. September is the International Month of Peace and Love. Twenty years ago, back in September 12, 2001, the day after the 9-11 tragedy, at the invitation of Manhattan MNN Television, Taijiman, a spiritual group dedicating in promoting peace and love, hosted the ceremony of ringing the bell of world peace and love to pray for world peace. The ceremony was broadcast across the U.S. for four hours, spreading peaceful energy to comfort people's hearts. Today, many people, including Taijiman, still strive for peace, love, and justice. Over the years, so many stories have happened to them. Now let's learn about these together through the following video, commemorating the 20th anniversary of 9-11 attacks with love, peace, and conscience. Please play the video. If all peoples respect and learn from one another open-mindedly, Conflicts will be transformed into long-lasting peace. Our love will keep the water clean and the environment beautiful forever. This way, our offspring will enjoy a pleasant, harmonious, and affluent world. Tajiman understands this and understands that our conduct must mirror our words, must match our sentiments. Otherwise, however noble the words may be, the result will be quite inadequate. If we desire peace, we must act peace. If we wish for harmony, we must learn how to live in harmony with one another. To promote Chinese traditional martial arts, martial culture, and martial virtue. Also in San Francisco, Dr. Hong Daozi delivered his speech, A World of One Heart, A Wellspring of Happiness. Elaborating on the goals and intentions behind the Taijiman Culture Goodwill Group's conduct of global cultural exchange. Taijiman Culture Goodwill Group chose this window on the world, that is the U.S., in hopes that more people of different faiths and races, be they rich or poor, might all be blessed, like us, with happy and with joyful hearts. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for this program to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks with love, peace, and conscience. This anniversary takes place during a trying time for all people around the world as we're facing a very challenging pandemic and various different man-made and natural disasters. Um, we would like to really start with revisiting the 9-11, an incident that really shook the world. And before we dive into the stories, we have a clip that takes us back to 2001.
I recall an ambassador coming um, to the hotel and he told us he was walking for a couple of streets to make, uh, you know, to, to ring a bell of peace. And another ambassador called us, he want to attend the, uh, the ceremony and ring a bell of peace, but he was stuck on the bridge. The Earth is our common home. Yesterday's incident was a major tragedy in history. We are all in mourning. May the souls of the departed rest in peace, and may the living be consoled. May everyone be blessed with peace, and may the disaster be overcome as soon as possible. We hope that by promoting world peace, we can all work together to spread the energy of love. We pray that global citizens will begin a new life with sincere hearts, recover from sorrow, and face everything bravely. Let us fill the hearts of world citizens with love and peace. September 12, 2001 And I know with the attack in New York, many people were speculating that Hawaii might be the next target. But Dr. Hong and the volunteers of Full Pelt and Taijun insisted, insisted on making the trip to Hawaii as promised to bring the positive energy there as well. So we'd like to see what happened then and why it was so important to continue the trip. Long, can you share with us your experience of what happened to well, Hawaii? Well, I tried. <laughs> well, after... 9-11, we finally, you know, a few days later, we finally booked two flights. We, um, and then we finally arrived at Honolulu. I cannot remember the exact date. Uh, all the activities, of course, were canceled. However, at uh, Hawaii Theater Center, our brothers and sisters will present an excellent performance. And um, September 16, 2001, a person working with the mayor, Jeremy Harris, present a word of merit to Dr. Hong on behalf of the mayor of Honolulu and recognized him an honorary, honorary, honorary citizen of Honolulu for his outstanding and uh, you know, uh, performing, uh, extending, and um, uh, let me see, uh, citizen of Honolulu for his outstanding contribution to cultural goodwill and his dedication to social harmony throughout the world. Over the past um, 24 years, Tai Chi Minh has exhausted all means, hoping that the law bending officials' conscience will be awakened hope that they will do the right thing by withdrawing illegal tax bills. 21 years ago, Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy visited Washington, D.C. as ambassadors of peace and goodwill. The mayor of the District of Columbia does hereby proclaim March 22, 2000 as Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy Day in Washington, D.C. And we welcome these international ambassadors of peace and goodwill. 21 years later, members of Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy returned to Washington, D.C. to seek justice and raise international awareness of their situation. Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy is a spiritual group with various academies in Taiwan and the U.S. The group strongly believes that they are being persecuted in democratic Taiwan 
through a tax evasion indictment beginning in 1996 that reached Taiwan's Supreme Court. Despite the Supreme Court of Taiwan's rulings that we're innocent and tax-free, a few rogue bureaucrats continue to send us tax bills, and even just last year in 2020, our land was illegally auctioned off. Justice for Party This summer, Taijiman Qigong Academy and the Action Alliance to Redress 1219 publicized their cause through live and virtual events. The Action Alliance to Redress 1219 is a group of international and Taiwanese legal, religious, and human rights specialists working to rectify the Taijinan case and defend religious and spiritual freedom. In Washington, D.C., members of Action Alliance to Redress 1219 participated in the three-day International Religious Freedom Summit. Former U.S. Ambassador Sam Brownback helped launch the summit as a forum for tackling religious discrimination around the world. In 2007, the Taiwan Supreme Court found Taijiman Qigong Academy not guilty of tax evasion and cleared the group of all charges. But Taiwan's Taxation Bureau disregarded the court decision and continued to impose taxes on Taijiman Qigong Academy. In Taiwan, our enforcement law actually matches the two international covenants because it says that the properties for worship, for prayings, are not subject to be seized. During a June 17, 2010 public hearing in the Legislative Yuan, Taiwan's Ministry of Finance openly agreed to resolve the case within two months. That has still not occurred. As a result, Taijingen's sacred land was auctioned and nationalized on August 21, 2020. What we're asking for is to return that property to Taiji Men and to hold the corrupt officials accountable. The group visited Tecro, the Taiwan Economic and Cultural Representative Office, where Taiji Men Qigong Academy silently protested outside. Tecro representatives came outside to talk to the protesters. Taiji Men members delivered a message and books about the case to them. What well, Taiji Men members in the USA? We're calling on Taiwan's government, especially President Tsai, to redress our tax case. We have just conveyed our message to Taiwan's representative Xiao in the DC. Until Taiwan's government take quick action to redress our case and return our land, we'll keep advocating for our case in the US and internationally. So far, there has been no response from the Taiwan government. The Action Alliance to Redress 1219 continues to ramp up global awareness through efforts like virtual forums. It is the year 2021, and we hope sooner rather than later that the case will be resolved. And I think we're standing in front of something that is a big symbol for justice, um, and we hope to continue our fight. This journey is not only for ourselves, but for human rights all around the world. Hello, welcome back. As you can see in the video clip, while Taijiman promotes love and peace internationally, it is also deeply persecuted by national violence and hasn't been rehabilitated so far. The 9-11 attack is a historical tragedy. However, such a catastrophe also better reflect people's determination to pursue peace and to help and love each other. And next up, we're going to invite Oliver Lee. Uh, he is a uh, Secretary General of Association of Rose Citizens, also a Taijiman Dizi. He was in New York 20 years ago. So let's listen to what he has experienced. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Uh, the video we just see was broadcasted in MNN yesterday. We hold a uh, uh, ceremony of the ring the bell of the peace in September 12, 2001, after the 9-11 attack. I remember after the attack, the atmosphere was frozen with tension and uh, uh, anxiety. The whole America crouched into the anger, fear, and rumor that it might be continued to be attacked. All the activity uh, was stopped, and we can do nothing uh, uh, except uh, just uh, look at the TV report and worry. But Dr. Hong's word, 
if we don't do something, we came here for nothing. Then I started our action promote love and peace in such an easy situation. We started to invite the ambassador and the uh, uh, NGO leader to read the peace bill. The reason why Dr. Hong have such a, 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 a choice, the decision, that was because of the to help the, the world with promoting conscious love and peace. Has always been Tai Chi Man practitioner's mission to help the world. After we have the action in uh, September 11th, Dr. Larry Gale, the president of IAED, he was so moved that what we done after the line of attack. So he talked to his uh, friend in MNN television and the producer of NNN, he also feel that it's so important in that moment to, to spread the message of love and peace uh, to the, the whole New York and whole USA. So we have the ceremony of the reigning bell of the peace in September uh, 12th. And after that, we flew to Hawaii for another ceremony of reigning the bell of the peace. In the past decade, Dr. Hong guides all the Tai Chi Man deeds to help the world through promoting the love and peace, sending the most beautiful message. We believe we, we had already calmed so many people's heart with their grief, their anger, their uh, uh, anxiety. And it was all done by the, all the love and peace energy joined together. It's just like what I said that because of Larry Gale, because of the producers of MNN, they, they feel that it's very important thing to work together. So we have uh, that uh, ceremony. We received so many uh, uh, support and assistance around the world and also respect. They also uh, they feel what Dr. Hong and Tai Chi Man, uh, uh, we, we, we work for, the world is so important. But we also encountered great resistance in Taiwan. That was in 1996. Pro persecutor Ho Kuan Yen and IRS officers they violate our human rights, our right of the uh, belief, our property rights. So that meaning we need to we need to put our effort, spend our money, our time to fight against the evil force of the bureaucracy for our innocence. They persecuted us through the criminal and taxation with the uh, uh, fabricated evidence. The IRS officer, even they didn't do any investigation before the test bill issued. That means they complete violate the procedure, procedure justice. Actually, the test bill should be not valid in the beginning, but it happened. The persecution been lasting for 24 years. It's a common way to persecute the religious and belief organization through the criminal and taxation with uh, uh, fabricated evidence. That's, that's happened in dictatorship, the government, 
but it also happened in Taiwan. The beacon of the democracy and human rights in Asia. Why? It's, it's, it's make a shock to all of the scholar and expertise who come in to contact the Taijiman case. That including Kenneth Jefferson, professor of law of Temple University, USA, who is consultant of Bill Clinton, former president, USA, and famous human rights scholar, new religious movement, professor Edin Barker, Willie Forte, director of Human Rights Without Frontier, Professor Massimo Introbitni, Marco Respini, the editor of Bitter Winter, more than 100 scholars and experts. They have repeatedly, severely criticized the Taiwan some government officials violated human rights. The persecutor Ho and IRS officials, though they they were only they were only hurt Taijiman for their benefit, but they are not only harm Taijiman. They also harm the rule of law of Taiwan and the core value of Taiwan. That is kindness. The kindness they they hurt the so many good people. They hurt Dr. Hong. They hurt the Tai Chi Man deeds. All the people they do the good deeds, spreading the love and peace around the world and in Taiwan. How they can treat those good people with that unbelievable. Uh, action. Although we worked for 10 years, in 2007, we, we found no guilty and no tax evasion in court trial. But the IRS officers, they ignore the court decision. They won't re revoke the tax bill. Instant, instead, they demand Taijiman to pay part of the, the, the money of the uh, tax bill. How come? They demand we pay part of the money to settle the case. But because of Taijiman practitioner, we are unwilling to compromise on our principle. This is very important. So we keep the fight. But the IRS officers they they took away our secret land in last year, 2020, August 21st. We we suffer. We suffer for 24 years. But we believe, we more strongly believe to promote the love and peace and culture is even more important than before. That will be balanced to eliminate the evil, evil thought and evil deed in the world. I hope, I hope the whole country who still not uh, uh, repented the mistake, and also the IRS officer, they still not correct their mistake. They need to, they need to do, they need to correct in time. That's uh, to preventing they to to create the the uh, 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 biggest evil deed in their life. So, to promote the love and peace is our mission of our life. 
the persecution will not stop our action. That we need all the people we work together. The good men work together, then the bad guy we help you knowing what you are doing. Do not hurt your own soul. This is my share. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver Lee. Over the decades, Taiji Man has suffered from the unjust imposed by government, but it didn't eliminate their determination to promote world peace and justice in order to prevent others from tragedies because they know pain and don't want others to suffer. So next up, we're going to invite Rebecca Wong. She's an assistant system coordinator in technology industry. She's going to share with us what she has experienced in Taiji Man. Welcome. Thank you, Andy. This month is the International Month of Peace and Love. Due to people's greedy hearts, the earth and the people are sick. It was hard to breathe when seeing the September 11th attacks 20 years ago. From my standpoint, it is only through conscience, love, and peace that could save all the living creatures and save Mother Earth. It's been three years since I graduated from college, and now I'm working in the technology industry. I'm a Taiji Man Dizi as well. My father took me to Taiji Man when I was one year old. All of my family members practicing Qigong with our Shifu, Dr. Hong Daozi. In this important month, I feel honored to share my thoughts about love, peace, conscience, and human rights, along with my personal experiences in Taiji Man. Taiji Man is an ancient manpai of Qigong, martial arts, and self-cultivation. Besides Qigong in Taiji Man, our Shifu also taught us about importance of love, peace, and conscience. We had a cultural performance in the 2017 university. The temperature was about 70, 70, is about 37 to 38 Celsius degrees in July and August in Taiwan. When we were practicing, the dance and the formations kept changing. I used to be frustrated because I could not keep pace with the adjustment. Nonetheless, I changed my mindset during the process and tried my best. With this experience, I become more flexible and less stubborn when handling problems. For the nine minute performance, we danced throughout the whole performance without taking a rest. Every time I felt too exhausted to move, I recalled our Shifu telling us that practicing for the university performance was a blessing. Therefore, I regained the energy to keep going and did not feel tired from wearing four layers of the performance costumes. The practicing process not only enhanced my physical fitness, but also exercised my patience and perseverance. In 2017, some members of Taiji Man and I went to India with our Shifu for the 18th International Conference of Chief Justice for the World in Lucknow to promote the message of love and peace. The conference was held by City Montessori School, which invited Chief Justice from all countries in the world to discuss human rights, the rule of laws, peace, global issues, etc. At this conference, I met Mirsada, a judge from the court of Bosnia and Herzegovina. I shared the idea of love and peace with her and invited her to endorse the declaration for the movement of an era of conscience. She had experienced wars in her country when she was a child. As a consequence, she could understand the importance of peace and how it would affect the kids. Therefore, she was willing to endorse. She also shared her principles of being a judge. She said that the decision from a judge could affect a person's life, so she always met judgment cautiously. During the communications with the attendees, it is very important to see them getting inspired after endorsing the declaration and put it into action, which is the most practical way to make the world better. While our Shifu leads us to spread messages of love and peace and promote the Taiji culture to over 100 countries, in Taiwan, we still face violence from the public power. The Taiji Man case is a bogus case for over 25 years, which severely violates human rights, the Constitution, ICCPR, and ICESCR. In 2005, the Control Yuan listed as a landmark case of serious human rights violations. 
just as Oliver says, the tax dispute between Tai Chi Man and the government originated from the criminal charges in 1996. On July 13, 2007, the criminal division of the Supreme Court found Tai Chi Man not guilty of fraud, tax evasion, or violation of tax codes. Nevertheless, the tax dispute is still haunted. While the National Taxation Bureau knew the Ministry of Education has stated on three occasions that Taiji Men is not a crime school, it still illegally tax Taiji Men as a crime school. In late 2019, the National Taxation Bureau corrected the tax amount of the red envelope from 1991, 1993 through 1996 to zero. However, the tax bill in 1992 is left and forcibly levied, which is based on the same truth and evidence from the other five years. In August 2020, the Administrative Enforcement Agency insisted on forcibly depriving Taiji Men of its land, which was intended to be the site for the self-cultivation center. You might be very confused about why Taiji Men is taxed when it does not evade tax nor violate tax codes. Considering these situations, I put a big question mark on the reality of democracy in Taiwan. First of all, no red envelope for Shifu in other Qigong and martial arts organizations were ever taxed as the tuition fees for crime school. If Taiji Men is the only one being taxed, the National Taxation Bureau is then discriminating against Taiji Men and disrespecting Taiji Men's dignity, which is the country's bullying its people. Second, Taiji Men visited over 100 countries around the world to promote cultures at their own expense. The mentorship between the Shifu and Dizi and the red envelope to the Shifu are traditional cultural heritages. The National Taxation Bureau's misunderstanding of Taiji Men being a crime school would be against international trends to protect cultural rights. Last but not least, Judge Shu Ling Huang, who had participated in the substantive trial in the High Administrative Court and turned down the case in Supreme Administrative Court, failed to rescue herself person to law. Over the past 25 years, Judge Huang has tried 34 precedents of the Taiji Men test cases. The judge did not rescue herself person to law and met the wrong judgment, severely violating human rights and the rights to a fair trial. I was one year old when the Taiji Men fabricated case happened. It was not until I grew up that I realized how much pressure and discrimination were against us. Some of the people were mocked by their teachers and classmates at school. Some were warned by the pedestrians when going for dinner. Some, the breadwinners in the family, even lost their jobs. Nonetheless, our Shifu still told us to love this country and to insist on doing the right things. We are willing to pay the taxes that should be paid. However, we will not pay the taxes that shouldn't be paid. I used to be shy and did not want attention in public. However, I bravely stand up because of the Taiji Men case with a hope to protect human rights in Taiwan. Last July, I went on the streets almost every day, even though I had to take leaves. I wanted to tell the National Taxation Bureau to revoke the illegal taxation bills by law. I wanted to tell the Administrative Enforcement Agency to revoke the illegal enforcement by law. The sword dance show at the 2017 university performance symbolized wretchedness, justice protection, settling conflicts, and the hope of building a new world of love and peace. Besides wielding the sword during the dance, the wretchedness welled up in every heart of Taiji and Dizi. Because of our love for the country, we continue to uphold truth and justice and never compromise on the wrong things. Only when the government senses the importance of human rights protection can people live without fear of state violence. Nylon Chen, who promoted democracy and freedom of speech in Taiwan, once said, ignoring the suffering from the underprivileged is the persecution of human rights. In the past 25 years, we never retreated. With the insistence of the truth, we hope to encourage the victims whose human rights are violated. Here today, I would like to ask Ms. Chen Zhu, the chair of the National Human Rights Commission, as well as the president of the Control Yuan in Taiwan, to investigate and impeach the offenders, correct the illegal government agencies, and give justice and dignity to Taiji men. 
By doing so, the protection of human rights could be implemented, and all of the citizens and next generation could live in Taiwan with love and peace. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Rebecca Wong. Rebecca has shared with us the Tai Chi Man case in detail. So it is very clear that the Tai Chi Man case is absolutely a false case waiting for our government to resolve properly. And recently, aside from disasters caused by human, natural disasters also occur a lot more frequently, partly because of global warming and climate change. So next up, we're gonna invite Ting Yu Zheng, who work in an electronic company that values sustainability of the environment. Welcome. Thank you, Andy. Hello, everyone. My name is Ting Yu, currently working in an electronic company, and I'm also a Tai Chi Man Beat. It's my honor to be a part of online forum for the International Peace and Love Month. Um, from my understanding, world peace can prevail when we all the individuals on the earth love ourselves and follow our conscience and in time, and then love other people and the nature. But nowadays, lacking love and conscience, the world is facing a lot of challenges. Take global warming issue, for example. Over the last few years, the climate is heating up far faster than scientists have predicted. Many terrible disasters that we used to see in the movie have frequently happened in our real world, and the impacts are getting more and more devastating. Also, many scientific studies have shown that global warming is increasing the risk of global pandemics. So if the current warming trend continues, uh, the, it, it, uh, the epidemics will increase and spread faster in the future. So I think the outbreak of COVID-19 is also a clear warning shot for us to find a balance between humans and the nature. Humans are part of nature. We need to live in harmony with the nature in humility, follow the guidance of our conscience, and often reflect on ourselves. Although climate change is happening, I don't give up making a change. Like during my school years, I volunteered to be responsible for re recycling in the class and joined various associated clubs and coalition to do something to raise people's awareness on global warming issues. Last year, I joined a green company and uh, I am now working on some projects that I think is beneficial to the environment. And, uh, uh, and this, this, the passion making me moving forward is the spirit I learned from my ship. Uh, who, leads, who leads us to spread love and peace around the world through cultural exchange, hoping to influence the world leaders to do the right thing so that people will live on a harmonious world with no suffering, no fear, no war, and no pain. Some people question us if it is a mission impossible from my shifu. I realize no effort means neither hope, no chance. On the contrary, there could be something different if we follow our conscience to make change from individuals to the companies and the government. Speaking of conscience, my Shifu insists conscience is the key remedy to save the world. Therefore, he launched the Age of the Conscience Movement in 2014, hoping that everyone can do good deeds, spread these uh, seeds of kindness across the planet, and encourage others to do the same. But now, the move movement has received responses from 200 countries. In 2019, International Day of Conscience was declared by UN and is now celebrated around the world on April 5th. International leaders and representatives from all walks of life have affirmed the contribution of Tai Chi Men to world peace, including former Taiwanese president and President Tsai. However, it is hard to believe that our government turned out to allow unscrupulous officials to persecute Tai Chi Men for 25 years. The Tai Chi Men case, a case of violation of religion, freedom, and human rights in Taiwan, began with an illegal persecution of religion's crackdown for political purge in 1997. After 10 years, the Supreme Court of Taiwan found all the defendants in the Tai Chi Men case not guilty of fraud, tax evasion, or violations of tax codes. And all the defendants were awarded national compensation in 2009. However, 
the National Taxation Bureau and Administrative Enforcement Agency disregarded the guards, the court's decision and forcefully auctioned and nationalized the Holy Land of Tai Chi Man on August 21st last year. On that day, I was at the scene watching the whole illegal auction process. When the official announced the auction process had been legally closed, my heart was broken, feeling so disappointed and angry at the, at the government. We have gone through all the legal procedures in the past 25 years, and the costs have far exceeded the amount on the tax bill. And what we have been insist insisting is a truth and the justice with all the clear evidence of Chai Jinmen's innocence and the government's illegal execution and abuse of power. Chai Jinmen case still not can be rectified after 25 years of human rights persecution. How about people with no resources? It is never too late to do the right thing. The government should sincerely make up for the mistakes to achieve justice. Chairman of the Taiwan Financial and Criminal Law Research Institute, Professor Chen Zhilong said, only when the Tai Chi Man case is rectified, as Taiwan can be a truly democratic country ruled by law. In July, International Religions Freedom Summit was just held in Washington, D.C. Kenneth Jacobson, a professor of law at Temple University, who has studied the Tai Chi Man case for many years, drove thousands of miles from Philadelphia to support Tai Chi Man. He insisted that it is atrocity to allow mistakes made in the past to per perpetuate till now, and he called upon the President Tsai to fix the mistakes now. Many other experts and scholars in domestic and foreign countries have been voicing out for Tsai Chi Man, but Taiwanese government remains indifferent and pretends to hear nothing till now. There's an old Chinese saying, conscience reflects the law of the heaven. No one can escape the ultimate judgment by heaven. Here, I sincerely call upon Taiwanese government to look into the legal and taxation problems caused by the bu bu bureaucracy and honestly make a change, such as abolishing EMI tax and administrative performance bonus system, punishing illegal officials, and ending injustice tax caused cases like Tai Chi Man case to avoid injustice from recurring. Finally, from recent disaster around the world, we can find that no one can escape from the catastrophe and the global village community. Every citizen is closely related to the environment and society in the country. A bad state system hinders the progress of the country and affects its people. Therefore, I'd like to invite everyone here to keep up with the current affairs, to supervise the government to do the right things, and spread correct and good message to people around us. With the joint efforts, I believe we can turn the world around and help Taiwan move towards the true democracy. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ting Yu Zhen. Just like Ting Yu has mentioned earlier, continuous natural and man-made disasters around the world will definitely affect everyone on the planet. An obvious example is the COVID outbreak. September is the International Month of Peace and Love. Through the forum today, we know that the day after the 9-11 tragedy, Taijiman hosted the ceremony of ringing the bell of world peace and love to pray for world peace and may the souls of the deceased rest in peace and hatred and conflicts be resolved with love. Moreover, they travel around the world spreading the seed of love and peace and through the process, it not only makes the world a better place, but also makes Taijiman deeds a better people. However, this excellent group that benefits individuals and the world has been persecuted by national violence for many, many years, preventing them from exerting their full strength. Therefore, in the International Month of Peace and Love, we hereby call on the Taiwan government to resolve Tai Chi Man false case. This is not only demonstrate justice, but also promotes world love and peace. And today's forum ends here. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Bye bye. Oh,